Good morning, it's Wednesday, August the 4th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, i got three great press releases for you this morning, two out of the Canadian side, one out of the U.S. side, and I've got no halts to report on at this time coming out of the market. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Slam Exploration. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol SXL. This press release actually came out yesterday at 3.30 p.m. or thereabouts, but it's definitely worthy of your attention, so we're bringing it to you this morning on the show. Once again, Slam Exploration on the Venture SXL. It's our good friend Mike Taylor. The company is announcing asset results from the second of three diamond drill holes on its wholly owned Reserve Creek project, which is located uh, in the Fort Hope area of Ontario. We've got the highlight here, which is hole number 15, which intersected a 30 meter core interval grading 5.5 grams per ton of gold. And this also includes a more concentrated intercept of 5.5 meters grading 10 grams per ton of gold. So very respectable numbers coming out of SLAM. Congratulations to Mike and his team. Uh, the other thing of significance here is that that intercept, the 30 meter intercept containing 5.5 grams per ton of gold is only at 12.5 meters in depth. So very significant. Uh, it makes for great open and pit uh, mining. A little bit about the company, they're a mineral resource company based in New Brunswick and they continue to be active in gold, silver and base metal exploration in Ontario and New Brunswick. The company's last at 9.5 cents, high of 14.5, low of 1 cent, market cap of approximately $12 million. Moving on to our next company. Go West Amalgamated Resources trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol GWA. The company is announcing an update on their Phase 1 drill program at their 100% owned Frankfield project, which is located in Timmins, Ontario. We've got hole number 46, which is the highlight. They intersected 10 meters of 6.5 grams per ton of gold, and this is beyond the boundaries of the previously known gold resource. Uh, a little bit about the company, they're a Canadian gold exploration and development company focused on the delineation, development and mining of its 100% owned Frankfield project, uh, which again is located in Ontario. They're last at 19 and a half cents, high of 40 cents, low of 9 cents, market cap of <coughs> excuse me, approximately $16 million. Now we're going south of the border. Fushi Copper Weld, they trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol FSIN. It's one of those Chinese companies. You know how much we love those Chinese companies. They're a manufacturing innovator of copper clad bimetallic wire used in a variety of telecommunications, utility, transportation, and other electrical applications. Today they're announcing their financial results for the second quarter, which ended June 30th, 2010. Highlights include gap net income, which increased significantly to 13.5 million dollars. Adjusted net income increased 75 percent to 12.5 million dollars, and gross profit increased 45 percent to just under 20 million dollars. Their last at nine dollars and 13 cents, high of six, uh, sorry, high of 12 dollars and 94 cents, low of 650, market cap of approximately 340 million dollars. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.